Well, great start to the afternoon. We're just on the banks of the Sand River, very close to camp, only about 800 meters downstream. And we've come across the Talala female and her cub. Oh, they're just Well, great start to the afternoon. We're just on the banks of the Sand River, very close to camp, only about 800 meters downstream. And we've come across the Talala female and her cub. Oh, they're just enjoying the afternoon. The sun, it's quite a chilly day. Yeah, lying out in the open, beautiful view overlooking the river. They look fairly well fed, so I imagine she made a kill last night. Um, and they do look kind of lethargic. I don't think they're going to be going anywhere anytime soon. But we've just heard from one of the other rangers, in fact, our head of finance, that um, the Piccadilly Cub is. No, no. But the Piccadilly. <laughs> <laughs> it's the hardest leopard name in the world. That the Piccadilly Cub. No! The Piccadilly Female. <laughs> Stop making me laugh. The Piccadilly Female and her cub have been found at a prominent rocky outcrop on the other side of the river. So we're going to go there. Okay, I finally said that right. When our head of finance says, I strongly recommend you join the sighting, we listen. This is literally as good as it gets. Oh, this is an absolutely sublime scene with the female up on a rock. Cubs a little bit nervous. We park quite far away, I'm using big lenses. Yeah, I'm gonna come up and it's not used to the sound of shutter buttons on the camera, so I'll kind of come up, scratch around a bit, and then we take a few photos and it goes down. So what we've done now is we're just sitting quietly and let it, letting it come up, and once it's up, we're not going to take any photos. It's all part of the habituation process. And slowly but surely over the coming weeks, if we see it more and more, it's gonna realize that the vehicles are no harm. And, you know, it's mother's here and it's, everything's fine. This morning we, we saw the female on an outcrop where we are now, but it was a tough view. The wind was blowing, the sun was harsh, and she went ahead in the long grass. This now is on the completely opposite end of, of the spectrum of beautiful sightings. I mean, this is literally as good as it gets. So she's come down off the rock, left the cub there. She's obviously caught sight of something that she wants to go and hunt. We did see some impalas off in the distance there. So, I oh know, wait. Is that it? Yeah. Oh, here she comes. <coughs> See an Impala was just running on the ridge. That's why she's going straight through the concrete in there. Look up in the in, in the gap there. Where are we? Can you see the Impala? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we've seen we've seen Impala. So she watched. She went ran off after something. Clearly, he's Impala. But now the Impala coming to her. Her best strategy: get ahead of the Impala and just lie and wait for them to come to her. She's in prime position now. So one part at least is seen it. Okay, so unfortunately that hunt didn't go so well. She was seen, and Paula moved off, and now so has she. There's some clip spring alarming at her too. Clip spring are these beautiful little antelope that inhabit these rocky outcrops. And so yeah, the game's been given away here, and she's moved off 
into the grass to hunt. Sun's coming down, she's left the cab, so it's probably gonna be hiding from us as well. We won't be able, we won't, we don't wanna view it while she's not there, it's gonna be nervous. Yeah, well, leave them to it. What a spectacular evening.